Hi, hi, the Dive from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today book is Bambi in the Big Snow from 1983. So let's get started. Bambi and his mother lived in the big woods. They had lived there all through the warm summer and cool autumn. Now the days were chilly and the nights were cold. Winter was coming. One night while Bambi slept, it snowed. Plop. Bambi woke up. Something cold had landed on his head. Bambi opened his eyes and looked around. What was this? Wait, what was this? Tiny bits of white was floating in the air. Bambi walked out in the big woods. He had never seen anything like this. Every branch and twig of the tree was covered with white. Bambi stepped carefully on to the white. It was cold but soft. He caught some of the floating white bits in his mouth. They had no taste. Thump, thump. Bambi turned. There was his friend, Thumper, the rabbit. What is this white stuff? asked Bambi. It's called snow, said Fumper. It falls in the winter. Snow is fun, said Fumper. Come with me, I'll show you. So Bambi followed Fumper through the white woods. Soon the two friends came to a cozy nest. Flower the skunk was asleep inside. Wake up, Flower, said Fumper. Winter had come. The first snow is here. It's wonderful. Oh, Flower yawned. What's a time to wake me right in the middle of my winter sleep? Come on, Flower, said Bambi. We have a lot of fun in the snow. Well, maybe, said Flower. I'm not sure, but he went along with Bambi and Fumper. Bambi pranced through the snowy woods on his long legs. Thumper hopped carefully behind behind him, but poor Flower had to prowl his way through the deep snow. I don't like this one bit, he said. The three friends came to the top of the hill. They looked down on a pond covered with ice. A sign warned of danger, but the animals could not read it. Wow, look at that ice, said Thumper. We can slide down the hill right on to it what is ice asked bambi i don't know said flower but it doesn't look safe to me not since said thumper watch me here i here i go we down the hill went thumper Simon looked like fun said bambi it looks pretty risky to me said flower i'm going to try it said bambi this is fun said bambi as he slid down the hill Oh, I can't look, said Flower, as he fouled. It's too scary. So, Fumper, Bambi, and Flower slid onto the ice. Isn't this great, laughed Fumper. Bambi and Flower did not answer. Flower was scared, and Bambi could not stand up on the slippery ice. His feet went in all directions. Fumper laughed and laughed. He thought Bambi looked funny. Flower kept his balance with the help of his furry tail. But he was worried. He did not like the ice. Be careful, Bambi, said Flower. Slowly, Bambi stood up on his feet. There's nothing to worry about, said Fumper. Playing on the, playing on the ice is fun. Watch me, said Fumper, and he slid over the ice. There's nothing to it, he said. Come on, Bambi, you try sliding now. I'll help you, said Fumper. I don't think I can do it, said Bambi. Sure you can, said Fumper, and he gave Bambi a great big push. Shoosh, away went Bambi, right in the middle of the pond. The ice was thin there. But nobody knew that. Crack, snapped. 
The ice broke under Bambi. Down went Bambi in the ice cold water. Help, cried Bambi. He tried to get out of the water, but he could not. Oh no, said Flower. We must do something. Suddenly they heard a n new noise. What's that? said Flower. Watch out, humans, said Fumpers. Two skier was coming over the snowy hill. The, the skier saw Bambi in the icy pond. Look, there they frown in the pond, said one of them. We must help it. Let get out of here, said Fumper. So he and Flower ran and hid. Bambi shivered with fear and cold. Fumper and Flower watched from their hiding place. The human went to the edge of the pond. They took off their skis. The man tied a rope around his waist. The man laid the four skis side by side on the ice. He made a sled. Then he lay down on the sled, slowly pulling himself towards, towardward. At last, the man reached Bambi. He carefully pulled Bambi out of the icy water. Bambi was too cold to be frightened. Then the woman began to pull back to the edge of the pond. When the man reached the edge of the pond, he gently picked up Bambi. The little frown was hardly breathing. His eyes were closed. Bambi laid very still. The poor baby, said the woman. She dried Bambi off with her soft, warm scarf. There, there, she said. You'll soon be all right. Fumper and Flower looked on from their hiding place. What should we do, said Flower. We must tell Bambi mother, said Fumper, and so they, so off they ran. Fumper and Flower found Bambi mother at home. Where is Bambi, she said, as soon as she saw them. Is something wrong? He'll be all right, said Fumper, I think, but you better come. He down at the pond, said Flower. Bambi mother led the way. Fumper and Flower followed. They raced through the big woods. Some bird heard the news and they flew along. Bambi is in danger, they called. Everyone wants to help. At last they got to the hill top above the pond. The animal looked down at Bambi. Bambi mother could hardly believe what she saw. Bambi was with two humans, but they would not harm him. They would pat in him. He looked w warm and dry. Soon Bambi stood up on his shaky leg. He saw his mother and his friends. Bambi ran up to the hill to his mother. Now he was tr truly safe. Promise me, Bambi, said his mother, that you would never go on the ice without asking me first. I promise, said Bambi. The two humans skied away over the hill, but none of the animal noticed they were too busy with Bambi. So that was Bambi in the Big Snow from 1983. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.